Hey you, it's Jess here and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a usual monthly haul. Sorry, it's all going nuts. Let's put this down a bit though. We have the usual monthly haul and we have not have too many stuff this um, month actually. Um, only a couple of kits and some foil and there's a couple of shops I haven't shopped from before. So, everything will be timestamped and linked down below, and I hope you enjoy. So the first thing I want to get out of the way is this order from the Honey Bee Shop. Um, I haven't really ordered from her shop before. I did sit at her table at the um, New York Planner Conference, like, when was that? 2018? <laughs> Ages ago. No, 20, hmm? 2018? I think so. Um, it couldn't have been 2017. So, yeah, so I do love this stuff, but I just don't shop with her that much. And um, I saw these, uh, both Kirsten and Andrea were, were buying the um, babe boxes. And I saw this one from like the other month, which was a bunch of rainbow stuff. And I was like, I really love these papers. I want to set up my planner with them. So she puts up the extras on her shop. So I just went and picked up a pack of the papers. So let me open this up. I don't think I'll be subscribing because I don't need like all that stuff every month. But um, if I keep an eye on the releases now, plus um, it helps when like Kirsten has a haul and whatnot. Um, I think it goes this way. So I can actually like keep an eye on what's getting released and what I can pick up in extra form. So yeah, that's why I picked up the papers. They're just so cute. I just love these sort of starry rainbowy um, papers. So you get two of each and then the back has a different, oh my God, I love this rainbow. It's such a cute design, this one. And we have the babe liner. I think it's supposed to go this way. That is really cute. I love like the marker design and on the back you have um, more of those but with a blue background whereas these are white. Yeah. So that's really cute. Oh, I think this is my favorite one. The um, the clouds or the rainbows but I love the way the clouds have uh, the sort of the outline and the pink. Ugh. This is definitely my favorite. It's adorable. And then on the back you have like the like like symbol, little backpack, little um, the Sailor Moon kind of bunnies. Really cute. This is definitely going in like the front of my planner, that paper. And then you also get a vellum and an acetate, and the vellum is this really cute hollow clouds. Really cute. I definitely don't have enough vellums, even though I love vellums. So that's definitely going in there as well. How would this look on the front? That could be cute, maybe. And then the acetate are these rainbows. So I love colorful acetates as well. Really, really adorable. So we get one sheet of A5 wide out of this. I know it's not technically like wide enough this way, but I find that does, doesn't really matter in the long run. So you just cut it the A5 wide width and then punch it and there you go. So I'm really excited. I'm so happy I picked up these papers. I think they're only like $10 for the pack. And like, it's literally all I need to do up my planner. And they're just so pretty. So that is the Honey Bee Shop. Next, I have some, um, some vinyl stickers from an artist. Um, I think she's, she's a Mexican artist, but her shop is run in the States, and she currently, she just moved to um, Korea. So, which I love watching her stories of being in Korea, they're really cool. But she has some amazing artwork. Her name is um, Michelle Macias. Sorry if I'm, I don't, <laughs> I don't know Spanish, so I don't know how I'm supposed to correctly um, pronounce it, but... Um, yeah, she had some really adorable like Sailor Moon and more sort of um, Asian inspired artwork but in her own style. So I bought these packs of um, vinyl stickers which they're packaged incredibly. 
but it came with some free little postcard prints so we got this pair of girls here so cute and then this girl here i love the shade of blue on darker skin Ugh, pretty and then i um this is a set of two and then this is just one and these are magical girl obviously but first we have the set of sailor scouts so she has like the outer senshi and the inner senshi look at them okay i'll get a close i can i don't want to take them out of the packaging just yet but oh my god these are my faves here the outer senshis are my favorite but pluto and saturn are like my main faves and then the inner senshi as a kid, I really love Jupiter and Mercury. I can never choose, but I think actually I love all. <laughs> I think I actually love all of them equally. Like I don't have a favorite favorite girl. I can literally never pick, because I know Darcy's favorite is Jupiter. And I always consider Jupiter because I'm tall with brown hair. That was like me growing up. But I don't know which ones. I'm actually really loving Mars in the Sailor Moon Eternal film. I don't know. I love them all! <laughs> so I'm so glad I got that one. Let me show you, this is her um, info here, Mermaid Michelle on Instagram. It has all her links to shop on there, it's just on Etsy I believe. And then this one with just normal hollow, it is um, card capped with Sakura, Magical, Mad not Magical, but Madoka, and then Sailor Moon. And they're also sharing their little pets, although that's a little evil bastard. <laughs> if you haven't watched Madoka, which I actually highly recommend it do, it's like, it's Magical Girl, but it's kind of taking on and switching up the idea of the Magical Girl. I don't know. It's crazy. I could say what I want to say about the end, but it spoils the end. But Madoka kisses. I love her. Um, I actually haven't watched Card Cap or Secure, so I should have these backing cards too. I think these will be perfect to keep as well. But yeah, I had to pick those up. Those are just beautiful, huge, shiny vinyls with amazing art. So yeah, definitely check her out if you haven't and you're interested in this kind of stuff. She has like blankets and t-shirts and hoodies and all sorts, so love that. Guys, you know my whole thing about trying to find Asian food stickers and how I was like, I do love Hazel stickers stuff. I have like ancient stickers from her. And um, I think I got them at a planner party. <laughs> and um, which shows you how far along away that was. But um, she closed her shop while she was working on her nursing masters, I think. Anyway, her shop, like, I was just looking and it was open. And I was like, oh my god, oh my god, I have to go buy the Asian food stickers with all the food stickers because I just love them. So this came in. I'm so happy. Um, we got this cute little freebie with my name on it. Is this actually a sticker or? I don't know. I think it's just cardboard. But it's like a cute little um, song app. And she highlighted my name. Adorable. We have some little freebies here. Oh my god, look at these little beauty freebies. Those are so cute. My camera's struggling today. But those are adorable. And then you have a little medical one. Because obviously she is trained. She is a nurse. <laughs> so adorable. But then, um, yeah, I got a bunch of the mini sheets and then some of the bigger sheets. So let's go through the mini sheets. I'll zoom in. We have the far balls, which are mm, mm, perfect. I don't know about like how bright and clean her colors are and the black lines. They just perfectly work for me. <laughs> so those are the far balls. You get tons on a mini sheet. We have the tacos, which are, these are really good size, by the way. That's my tiny, tiny thumb. Uh, <laughs> uh, you can see by now, like, they're really small, really nicely colored. Between bright and between pastel I think so mm, chef's kiss look at these ones little lime wedges Ugh. burritos we have a lot more tacos and burritos these days but love those then we have curry so these are more like um, a Japanese Asian kind of, a Japanese kind of curry 
which is perfect because I do have that every now and then. But I could have used this for an Indian curry as well. We just happy to have this because we found a Japanese curry place we really like. Look at these bobas. They look like, uh, I think, boba chick. They use like the sort of stiff lid on their bubble teas. So I'm happy to have these. Um, yeah, they're really nice and clean to look at. Tons on the sheet. You have Ban Mi. We always get Ban Mi from Boba Chick, so I'm always like, I'll use a bubble tea sticker instead of Ban Mi. But maybe next time I'll use a Ban Mi sticker. Then just for drinks, I got mojitos because I thought they looked like a good, like generic summery drink. They're definitely mojito, but I feel like it could also work for cider because I love getting strawberry lime ciders or um, lonquero, which is like a Finnish drink, which is grapefruit, soda, and gin. And it's like white, um, the liquid is like whitish, like this. So I thought this would also work with lonquero. And then we got beef noodle soup because I've had some beef noodle soups recently and they're delicious. Might not have them, might have them less in summertime, but I have a stick of that. And that will also work for most noodle dishes too. I just got a text from Locke. They're at a work picnic. It's eight o'clock and apparently they think they're gonna keep going until there's no more alcohol left. So, <laughs> Fins. <laughs> so I get some more time to film for myself. Um, I got the sheet of, these are the normal sheets. I got the sheet of steaks because you get a couple of different ones. And steak is like our new Christmas dinner thing. So I definitely want to have like steaks. Even if I only like use one or two a year. Because <laughs> steak is expensive. But yeah, I kind of want a steak stick it and they look really good. I have English food, which makes me laugh, <laughs> but uh, I kind of miss English food. It's kind of also Australian food, so, which really it is, because you have like meat pies, pasties, sausages, you get the big breakfast. I'm not sure what these are supposed to be, like nuggets and chips, or oh, fish and chips, duh. <laughs> and you got some tea and some high tea trays. I really miss pasties and meat pies. I think I'm going to have to cook some for myself because mm -mm -mm, love them. <laughs> and then I got medical two sheet, mostly because of these, because obviously getting vaccinated. Uh, by the time you see this haul, I would have been, had my first vaccination. And this, and that is actually when I'm filming this is tomorrow. And I didn't have any injection stickers. So I'm so glad this came in now because now I can put this into my planner for Saturday and it, the color blue works with my kit that I'm using. So I'm so happy. <laughs> but you get a, a bunch of different medical stickers here, which I'm sure I can get some use out of in the future, but I can mostly got it for these. So I'm so happy. And I know it's like you only get two shots, but um, flu shots in the future and also possibly boosters of the COVID shots so that'll be useful um you never know when life changes health wise so I'm so happy this order came in you can probably tell I am smiling right now I'm so happy I I don't know why I just I really do love these hey soul sticker food stickers so definitely go check her out so let's zoom on out this is another shop you wouldn't have seen in a haul. I did meet um, the owner of the Giving Girl. What is her name? It's not, it's not Jessica, is it? Or Jennifer? There's a few Jennifers. <laughs> I met the Giving Girl at a planner party. I do have some of her stickers, like, randomly. She was giving out hair ties as well, wasn't she? At um, PlannerCon. Oh, my God. I'm terrible with faces and names and blah blah blah, but I'm pretty sure that was her, but I've never actually like shopped at the Giving Girl. And I was like, you know what? I love little foil deco little pieces. And yeah, so I've talked about how I'm not going in, I can't, I can't even fathom the layering decorative, decorative foil um, style with mandalas and things, um, mandalas. Uh, but I do like little, Foil decals, decos, 
to put on like next little icons and things. Um, so I went to the Giving Girl, I did some shopping. She obviously sells out pretty, like a lot, <laughs> very easily. Look at this packaging. Look at, it's beautiful. I think this is actually in like a plastic envelope with the address, but whoop, whoop, whoop. But you know, my OS is like, none of that. <laughs> but look at this sticker. I haven't even opened this as you can see. Ooh, it's like freebie pockets here. Okay, yeah, but I found that, yeah, there wasn't like a huge selection of foils and things left, but I just picked up what I could and what I liked. So first of all, we have two freebies in this pocket here. We have this little freebie with a rose gold freebie. Really cute. Probably not gonna use that, but um, you already have what it takes. A little washi card. Really cute. I like that. I'll keep that. That could be cute in a pocket of a planner. So here we go. Ooh. So it's like saying thank you and where to reach her email wise. And then you have the stickers inside. That's super fun. So I'll put that to the side. Or rather chuck it in the box next to me on the floor. So I can recycle it. So, <laughs> um, yeah, let's have a look at the little bits and pieces I got. Not too much, but pretty happy with the way it's looking. So these are all on clear, and I have little bows, little tiny bows. Should we just zoom in on these, this stuff, and then I know we'll do this there because the clear paper, like sometimes, you know. So we have little tiny bows. Oh, they're all kiss cut, so they're not like circles or anything. So this is Duo 28, Teeny Bows number four. And I thought these were a really cute look at, looking bow. So I got those in gold. And as I said, I just got things that I could, so a lot of silver and stuff was gone, but I got the Starry Deco Duo 29 in silver. Try and like focus on that, but look at these little star clusters, and I really love these little, this is specific little sparklers. While I picked it up, that looks really cute. Oh, different kind of sparkles. There's a little hot one cluster as well. So exciting, so cute, and I was able to get gold and silver in that one. So I'm excited for that. I think that was the one I really wanted the most. Then I fell in love with these little hearts, um, Plan Mosh Plan with Plan Mosh Plan, Plan Mosh Plan. She, um, I ordered this after I watched her haul. <laughs> and like, she holds nothing that I would buy, but I was like, I watch her channel anyway. <laughs> um, plan a content, but this is adorable. Like, these hearts, I fell in love with them. So, still a gold sheet left, so I picked up one of these. So cute! Heart Cluster Dego, DO33, we got a cat joining us. Don't be hardy, look at this. You don't want to look at it? You just want to... Oh, you want to gonna lie on the paper, are you? <laughs> the plastic. So, don't, don't tread on that. Are you gonna sit down? Her butt is like hanging off the edge of the table. Maybe don't join us, Heidi. <laughs> All right, gonna fluffy butt in my face. Anyway, the last sheet I got were in gold was was the shooting star numbers because you know I love date numbers. I haven't bought any for a while, and look at the cute, the cute chubby stars with like little anyway, <laughs> like little um, dots like flowing past them because they're shooting stars. And you get one, two, so you get two sets in here, and then a. The road down the bottom are uh, little icons. You have a phone, two phones, two shopping, um, two shopping trolleys, a coffee, a house, and a little barbell. And then the when it hits the one, two, yeah, when it hits thirty, wait, does it keep going? No. It feels like you should have more than two sets on it, but no, <laughs> it's two sets. Um, and then you get some bows in the, in the stars as well, and these leftover ones. Heidi's just stamping around this table like a crazy bum. But anyway, that was my little order from The Giving Girl. And I'm so happy. They're so pretty and cute. 
bam, that made a weird sound. And Heidi was like, what the heck? Um, I just picked up literally the one foil bundle uh, multiple times from Caress Press. So usually she releases foil bundles like half foil one week, half the foil the next week. So this is technically two orders. I think it was like this. And yeah, I don't know, I wasn't feeling a lot of kits across this last May. Heidi's eating biscuits. So if you hear crunchies, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I wasn't feeling a lot of kits this month, so um, yeah, I picked up these foil bundles. They're all they're literally all the same design. They are the um, birthday set. So I picked up two of the Sparkly Hollow in full set, so you can buy them full or just the main pages. Full includes bougie boxes, and I don't have like an abundance of Sparkly Hollow bougie. So I picked up those in the full, and I just picked up the gold, two gold and two silver in the mini one because I have gold and silver bougie. So I'll show you the designs and what you get in the mini without the bougie. I'm super excited. So you get three sheets and they are pretty. Look at that. So they're a bunch of like cute little spiral confettis. Oh my god. It's killing me. I love the spirals. And then you get like the one with the um I think you guys saw me watch this uh buy this in a shop with me. <laughs> Because um, I talked about it, I'm pretty sure, before, because I love the candles, but I don't care for this present. That's just me, though. So these are those four boxes, and then the bottom washi, you get the balloons, and then the confetti banners, confetti and banners, and confetti all in the headers, and all banners extra, and then look at these cute little, like, <laughs> decos, they're so adorable. And then the final page you get is this standard page with all the goodies but that is what the birthday bundle looks like and what they got in silver and gold and then the difference with these is it has a bougie boxes as well which are what you would expect of bougie boxes my camera is camera battery is dying so i'm going to switch it over and we'll get into scribble prints co that is everything for caress press so now we're getting into scribble prints co i have some freebies i got three rack bags I'm pretty much just keeping the foil from them, but they have a new foil freebie. We have laundry, payday, day, night, planning time, and scribble prints for misfit rack bag. That's really cute. And I, I do like to keep the, and I got this as a normal freebie, but I do like to keep the rose gold because I don't really actively buy them. <laughs> so, um, because I don't really use rose. So it's actually rose now, not rose gold. Yeah, <laughs> because it's more pink. Um, well, this is how I see rose gold, I don't know. But, yes, so those are my freebies. Um, I didn't really need anything from the Misfit Rack Bag, so I've moved those along. And then I got a bunch of the doodles. Not too many, but a fair amount as per usual. So she brought out tacos in a nice neutral color. I'm pretty sure I'm the one who requested these ones. Because I was like, I literally only have like two taco stickers before he sold sticker. And um, all of them are like bright yellow. And I was like, it barely goes with kids. So, <laughs> uh, and then my like more neutral ones are like really small. So these are perfect. And I got two sheets of those because tacos for life. So I think that's why she made those. Because <laughs> I'm annoying. Then we got the little um, old school Macintoshes, as you would say, and I think these look really cute. So, well, um, Andre actually got these custom made because I think it was Control Qatar Qatar Alt Delete, <laughs> Control Alt Delete Sam had a little like Macintosh lap um, computer in the deco, and I used it as like a working sticker instead of a laptop and Andrew's like that's so cute I'm gonna make it into a real sticker so now we have these Ooh. so these will be really cute like not just to use a laptop all the time um just to shake it up a bit and they're really adorable and I do love these old types and so I got two of those and then I also got two of the cookies what's another request of mine 
Did I just buy two of each the ones that I request? <laughs> Duh. Um, so yes, chocolate chip cookies. They're so hard to get stickers of and like especially just the plain cookie. Um, and I love cookies. So yeah, I got two sheets of those. Adorable. They're perfect. Another custom one. And then we got the little spray bottles just for some different cleaning time. We got some detergent. I think that they thought these are really cute and to shake up using a washing machine or a pile of clothes. They got the little cupcakes for like little birthdays. I think that's adorable. They just look so cute. Little poop cupcakes. They're little poops. I love it. And then finally I got the sticker sheet set. Um, which would be good for like buying stickers, organizing stickers, loving stickers. So I got those. So those are the doodles that I picked up. Love them. And then oh, I'm, I sound, oh, I must be really annoying right now. <laughs> I'm home alone, baby. <laughs> Love and life. So I picked up one of the um, vinyl stickers. It is a sticker here, sure. Um, of the boarding passes, which actually come on the backs of orders now. They're so cute. And like the, the departure date is the anniversary of Scribble Prince Co. And I just picked it up in the Sparkly Hollow. So this would be really cute to put. I'm planning to put a whole bunch of stickers on my foil binder. So yeah, I picked that up for that. Super adorable. And then, where am I putting it? Okay, I got some scripts. So I was completely out of gold film scripts for like <laughs> the last four weeks or something now so, or even longer. So I got three sheets of the film scripts and then she brought out a bunch of the most popular scripts in Sparkly Hollow, which I'm very grateful for. So I picked up what I could. So I got the two so you can see Sparkly Hollow, Sparkly, you got Workout, Payday, in my feelings, grocery run, and the fast food one, which I don't use McDonald's, Taco Bell, and Burger King, but even if I was in America, there'd be one of these I definitely wouldn't use, but let's not go into that. That is the scripts that I got. Boop, boop. I also got some foil bundles, but these are all like formats you have seen. Or you can guess. <laughs> so I got this cool like bright purple metallic one. So there's no glitter, it's just like shiny purple. And that is in a star format and it is all stars as you can imagine. Um, and then oh, I guess I'll show you one format. One! Just in case you're new here. Because I'm not a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we have two pages of these, so plenty of full boxes for if, especially if you fill your sidebar with full boxes. Then you have two bougie in those colors, insanity. Then you have like the word scripts and the icons, and then the bottom washi, which is obviously the stars. That it will. Okay, I'm like I'm like in camera, not that bright. So I was like, "Wish uh, Andrea's new release." I'm like, "That's not that bright." And she was like, "It's so bright!" And now I'm seeing a person. I'm like, "What the heck?" <laughs> it's very shiny. So that is the purple star. And then I picked up three. I only picked up one of those. I don't know why. I picked up three of the emerald celestial. So very similar to the star, but they also have a moon within the pattern. And then I actually picked up the um, matching matte stickers. So you can really see the foil there. It's like the dark green with a bit of a hollow shine. It's really pretty. But um, I thought I had some sets coming up. But this would probably work with <laughs> Lord of the Rings. So um, I picked it up for that. <laughs> and I picked up two more because I feel like like there's going to be, I don't know, like possibly some summer stuff and some um, 
autumn-y things, even Christmas, this could go with, but mostly for Lord of the Rings. Um, and I think Celestial works for that theme as well, in my opinion. And then I picked up another one of the matte bronze confetti, because I'm obsessed. Boop! I used one, so I had to buy another one. So let's get into the kids. I'm getting more tags from Luck, and apparently they want to get more booze. So, fins. <laughs> Although Australians drank a lot too, so it's not not new. <laughs> so do the English as well, so I don't know. Everywhere I'm into is into drinking. And I barely drink. Not that I don't drink, but anyway, I bought three normal kits. I got the seven year bundle and the June mystery. And the three normal kits are all of the part of the new Disney range, Princess Range. And uh yeah, I kind of not mad at it. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm collecting these now. <laughs> so I really love this artist. Um, yeah, she does super cute stuff. And um, well, her name is Dusk. Dusk? Yeah. Um, well, I know her as Dusk from Audrey and her Instagram, which I don't think she does much of, but she's probably busy with customs, yo. <laughs> But yeah, so she's doing these princess sets for Andrea and they're really cute. So yeah, I guess an upgrade to the last modern princess sets. I feel like these are a bit more in fitting with the Disney style, like more cartoony and, and clean. I don't know, I love it. So I picked up How Far I'll Go, which is obviously for Wana and have Pua here. Do you not have Hey Hey? There's no hey hey. I think that was hey hey in the last set, but he was like a chicken. <laughs> um, but this one's really, really cute. I think I actually like this more than the last one. I think just the art style um, just stands out a bit more to me. And Moana is super adorable. This would be perfect for, Hall for Hawaiian vacation or even just like, I think this would just be great in summer. Super cute. I love it. And I love the colors too. So you got, I got the 15 millimeter and the extra random girl. I actually really love the girl with the dark, um, the black girl, <laughs> should we say. And the curly hair. She looks really cute. And the freebie with this set was a tall Moana because her pose is so cute. And then you have extra boxes. You have the planner set here and the, um, just like a plain C, so you can put like a full box overlay on it. Excuse me, I'm drinking water and it's giving me burpees. <laughs> Why you do that water? You're just water. Lots of pretty deco. We've never seen one of these sets before. This is like the ultimate kit. So cute. And these patterns are cute too. I like this sort of matching pattern to go with like the theme. And then the bottom one, she's adorable florals. So I actually don't know if I would use the 15 millimeter, but you know, I just get them just in case. Then I got part of your world, which is the little mermaid one, obviously. And you just have full on Eric here, which I love. <laughs> and a really adorable Ariel. Her bedroom is really cute. I love the record player. And this little mermaid book is amazing looking. Ugh, and the makeup, ugh, I die, it's so adorable. I'm not as, I really like the way this wax melter looks, but obviously I'm not into wax melt, so I'd probably sub that box out, but plenty of other choices. 15 millimeter, I picked up the other girl. I think when you look at this one, it looks like it's supposed to be, um, is that the, oh god, what's her name? It's not like Veronica... Victoria, something like that, and that Ursula turns into to trick Prince Eric. Anyway, that's what that's, that one reminds me of, so I feel like I would use her. It also makes me kind of think of um, Duchess Raven Waves from Lady Lovely Lux. And the freebie was the um, black text. <gasps> the flounder bag, that's so cute. You know, flounder's like one of my top favorite sidekicks, so, because he's such a gubby. <laughs> <laughs> I freaking love him. Oh, and I love the record player. So cute. 
I love these colors. They make me think of old school April colors, you know, in um, Erin Condren. This was more teal, but these, uh, the purple is like spot on. Ugh, I love it. I love it. Am I gonna sub out a kit for one of my summer kits for this? Because I have to use it like now? <sighs> that bottle washi. Ugh, I love it. And then this one, I also love Tink. And I'm not really a Peter Pan fan, although um, I was like, I did geek out when I went to Kensington Gardens in, in, in London and saw the little island, like the bird island where Peter Pan lives, <laughs> um, like in real life, because um, it's all based on the gardens, basically. And I was like, oh my god. <laughs> but I feel like Peter Pan overall has been kind of tainted and then also has like the typical Victorian racist stuff in it. <laughs> so, um, I don't know, but I love this kit. It's also like, um, fairy core and like cottage core with fairy core. I love it's like Andrea blended like Tinkerbell with fairy core, which is really big in like Animal Crossing because it's just perfect. Oop, just <laughs> got my water bottle there, dink. Ah, and she has a little Animal Crossing like on the switch there because it's sort of that sort of joint thing together. Oh my god, it's so cute. I think I'm gonna have to save this for next spring, like for sure it's going in the lineup. It's so pretty. I love everything in it. I even love this Peter Pan like stit cross stitch. So adorable. The little details are the 15 millimeter, and we have the uh, word script. You have the full tink there. Oh, I love the way the wings were done. Oh my god, that's so pretty. I love it. So cute. And I really like these soft colors. They're definitely making me think of March. So I might actually save it for then. Oh, the rainbow. This would be a really good, um, if you went into St. Patrick's Day, you could use it for that. This is the bottom washi. Um, but yeah, you can use this for St. Patrick's Day because it's got the green. Um, it's got like the slight bit of rainbow. I don't know. But I think I'm using a cat kit for that week because it's Heidi's birthday. It's so maybe the week before or after, but yes. So those are like the main shop kits that I bought. And I also got the seven year bundle, which you probably all have seen. But I drew it so I guess I can try and like do some more extra of that because that's always fun. But you got this little um, print impression, was it pocket locket? Uh, pocket size notebook, hardcover notebook. And you've got like the clasp and then you get the gold edges and it's dark grid inside. So it does have school prints co on the front and then print impression on the back. And yeah, it looks really pretty. Actually, with the like the this part on here, the popping, this would be a really cute little journal. Like, you could, because it's kind of locked, as you say. And you'd be like, oh my god, like, my best friend totally pissed me off today. And you can lock it away. Boop! So no one knows your like horrible thoughts. But yes, <laughs> as you can tell, I've never been one for journaling, but maybe I'll try. Maybe I should like get my feelings out there. I don't know. We'll see. So I think that'd be a really cute use for this actually. So we'll see. That's really cute. I like how it's small. And then we have the rest, the kit and the foil bundle. So, but by the time you're seeing, like actually now while I'm filming this, all the parts have been separated. So now you can buy the bundle in just pieces. So if you just want the foil, just want the pocket locket, just want the kit, you can buy this separately now. So I'll go check out to see if there's any left. Um, but yeah, there should be. But this is the SPC 70th anniversary kit. And it is sort of clean, bright, Malibu, maybe a bit of Barbie thrown in as well kind of look. Um, we're very inspired by the Barbie, like Malibu dream house. So you can actually like apparently rent and stay in. It's like what the scenes are based off. You'll see later. Um, 
but it's like kind of that was a stepping stone and then everything else is sort of I feel like it's very Scribble Prince Code, very Andrea. So I do want to use this for her birthday next year. And also be a really nice spring kit in that sense. But yeah, I think it's really cute. We did the like Louis Vuitton, because she loves Louis Vuitton. And actually like, um, oh, the Heidi's gonna run in here soon. Um, but so you can see here, I've done it by, instead of LV, I put SP there, because I thought that would be fun. Actually, in the foil bundle, I actually, I'm pretty sure she said she took the design from what I drew because I actually drew the, I like hand <laughs> drew all the dang little decorations. So, yeah, that took a while, but they look pretty. <laughs> you have shopping bags, and you have like the other Oristel um, pouch there from Cyber Monday Mystery, but in, like a yellow, and then the pocket locket there. And yeah, just like cute fashiony things. I think this fashion girl turned out so pretty, like a model. Yeah, I just, oh, and it's super bright. Like it was a really fun, bright, playful set to do. I very much enjoyed, cause I love bright colors. So I kind of went nuts with it. <laughs> it's the toolbox girl there and all the deco. So it's kind of like officey glam. Lux, Malibu, Barbie, <laughs> Blana Girl kind of mix. And these um, Barbie sunglasses are like real Barbie sunglasses, like you can buy for yourself, but they're all sold out. And they're so cute. Dang, that's why, like, if things sell out, just draw them in clip art so you can have a sticker of them. <laughs> that's what I say. And then you have like the patterns, so I do like the paint swatches with. The Lux pattern, I think that turned out really cool, like the layering effect. With the typical terrazzo, because I love my terrazzo brushes. <laughs> I love them. And yes, I do, I know someone thought, said that it's just copying and pasting and changing the colors, but I do actually make a new terrazzo every time in new colors and new like ways. They are brushes, so like the terrazzo shapes are like, you see similar ones, but I do make them new every single time. And sometimes I put glitter in and I and I mix around the canvas so they're all kind of different ways. And sometimes I have less terrazzo and some stones, unless sometimes I like the stone, either it's glitter or it's just a normal color. I like to put like multiple colors into one of the stones. I don't know. But I make them every fresh every time. Fresh out of the oven. <laughs> So, I know, I have a lot of joy in terrazzo, but I know not everyone, people are kind of sick of it now, so I guess I'll do less terrazzo, but I love it still. <laughs> and I especially love these ones, because it's like also watercolor, but anyway. Uh, anyway, so you get more of the scenes, so you can apparently actually like stay in this place, which would be insane. And they have like tool girl boxes. And they have a double box here of the like Malibu Barbie planner and all the stickers and foil and everything. Love it. Probably one of my better um, rolls of washi I've ever done. Just let their heart get the shape right, you know, to look cute. And then you have extra um, girl boxes, pattern boxes, and 15 millimeter. So that was the kit of the seven year bundle. And then the final thing is the foil bundle which is like a perfectly mixed metal luxe design and I think Andrea just kicked it out of the park like this is perfect like and you know how I am I'm like very meticulous about my foil and I love how it's just some little touches like they're still big to be like you know what they are but they're still like they're not gonna cover up the art or they're not gonna like totally blind you on the glitter headers it's just perfect. Love it. And I love these little dots as well, like little sprinkles. Oh my god, they make it like extra perfect. And I'm pretty sure she said she took these from my pattern that I drew. <laughs> so I hand drew these little ones. They're so cute. So you get two of those. It's gold, gold and silver perfectly mixed as are the bougie boxes. It's probably harder to see, but half of them are gold, half of them silver, like within the box. 
And then you can see it even better on the um, scripts. Like she actually like grocery run. I know um, Jemima of um, Lovey Dovey was talking about this. Like perfect. I love it. I love it. And then you have this, and then she added the SPs here, some extra deco, which is super adorable. <laughs> um, and yeah, so cute. I love how like, it's even like the little dot in the clovers, uh, mixed metal, and the date covers too, the date dots. And I love this new date dot font. I love it, I just love everything. <laughs> As I heard an American say from the across a restaurant in the middle of Tokyo, I'm loving it. <laughs> I don't know why they just they just quoted McDonald's in a ramen restaurant in Tokyo for everyone to hear. But it's just Americans, and that's what makes them special. So <laughs> I mean that in a good way. <laughs> so finally, for the stickers, we have the June mystery, but stick around afterwards because we've got a planner to unbox. So this is June mystery. If you're ever confused, they do go out like a month ahead. <laughs> And that way you have them for the month that they're for. So I always get them ultimate and yeah, so this is June Mystery. It's adorable beach cottage. And it's funny because we like, <laughs> we're talking about cottage core, planning cottage stuff and like beach cottage. And I was like, oh, here's a cute little beach cottage. It was all like run down, shabby sheet crap. And <laughs> that's what I think of cottage. And then Audrey comes back with me with this and she's like, this is my idea of cottage. It's like glamping instead of camping. I love it. <laughs> it's just not like, it's Andrea, yo. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Can I stop saying that this whole? God. If you've been like taking a shot every time I say it, you're drunk right now. And I love that for you. So, I'm so sassy when I'm home alone. <laughs> so this is a set I actually, I was surprised how much I actually really love this. Like the way it came together. Like I was kind of like, oh yeah, beach cottage, like beach, beach, draw it. And then it just, it just came together like the fashion girls, like this girl is serving it. Like this girl's like, is she in a classic golden age Hollywood movie? Like what? And then I was really proud of the, this bandana and jean shorts, which don't even like, just look at the colors. They're perfect. Oh my God. Like I finished them. I'm like, that's so perfect pair of shorts right there yeah um <laughs> and they have like the marsh the s'mores um yeah i, I kind of like i both hate and adore doing these like charcuterie boards because there's just so much to draw but they turn out so good and yes the open book is the first page of bridgerton uh, i thought that's popular people are reading it it's like a smutty summer read so i put it in there for you guys so hope you enjoy <laughs> um but yeah and then we have like the inside of the cottage <laughs> and i just think it turned out really pretty like really bright and airy and just soft and yes i'm so glad she is a toolbox because she is gorgeous i almost said i love it <laughs> but i'm trying not to and I just love these colors. Like even, am I gonna sub a summer kit out for this as well? But I have another one that I just got that I might sub. Oh my gosh. Once again, hey hey, my terrazzo. <laughs> Don't worry, there'll be less. <laughs> oh cool. <laughs> um, but I think this one turned out really pretty. I love when it's like you do it in the white and then you put a different color background in, change some of the colors and then it's like, oh, I love it. And then, of course, the tie-dye, bottom washi. I'm not stopping tie-dye. I think tie-dye can work through the whole year. Tie-dye Christmas. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, but this, oh, it's just so soft and pretty and nice. I think it just turned out so good. And then all oh, these extra boxes here. I like to so have like the uh, flat layer, like the little makeup items and the book and the little uh, magazine. And I love this version of the girl with the pink hair and like the green, the blue eyes on the tan. I always like like doing that. And then just the cottage, um, the back, like the houses that sit on the beach, like the whole scene looks really cool. It's a whole full box. I love it. Okay, so that is the. <laughs> I just said it. Ah, 
Uh, okay. So that's the set, and then let's go into the foil that came with it. We have this Champagne, Champagne Lights Palm Leaf Foil. So pretty. Another awesome new design with a little sparkle dots. I just love it. It's so pretty. I do love me some Champagne Lights, which I rarely get to use, so I'm going to have to use this or something. A lot of people were saying this would be really good on the Moana set, so if you have that and this should come to the shop eventually i think or well, you can buy it from the bst that would be perfect for that but yeah it's just a bunch of pretty palm leaves in the corners i think it just adds a little something something the bougie normal and then the bottom one she had these adorable flowers and like little sparkles yeah, they're like the little dot sparkles ugh it's gonna be so pretty which whatever kit you pop you put with it i still think it goes with this one like i guess this is less of a trouble actually look at that oh my god i love it anyway i just said it again okay i gotta stop i gotta stop otherwise i'm gonna keep saying it but i will be back in another section of the hall when i have my new planner to unbox so i'll leave see you in a very split second Okay, let's finish up this haul with an unboxing of this Orisol Planner. So hear me out. Yes, okay, I have a billion of these. <laughs> um, this is an A5 wide. Yes, this is my seventh one. But hear me out. Um, it's different to all my other ones. And also, <laughs> uh, I use them to store permanently every year, uh, my, pl my inserts. So I technically this, I don't know, this is my sixth available one, and then at the end of this year, the one will be gone. So then I'll only have five available. So, I don't know. I, I wanted to buy it, and this was an oops one, so I got some money off. But let's open her up. It says Orcel Co-Innovative Planners. Super cute. Just some care. Um, the instructions here. And yeah, this is in the box. Let's take her out. So it comes with a really nice um, silky smooth bag with a silky ribbon. And this actually shipped like the same day that I ordered it. Um, I guess it was just like a normal day. It wasn't like a release day or anything. But guess what color I got? Okay, here we go. <laughs> I got white blossom. So usually... I get clouds. My other blossom type is the School Prince Co. Limited Edition one, which has like the it's pink with the gold bow. Um, but I have been really wanting to get a white one. Um, I just love the idea of it just being like clean and white. Have a look at this because this is an oops one. I guess there's some dents. Maybe that's a, like, a light mark, but you can't really see it right now. Um, I'm not a huge fan. Um, I'll show you what I mean, like, where it kind of annoys me with the blossoms, but I feel like, the, I don't think there was any, this is Snow Angel, and I don't think there was any clouds in silver available. I really wanted silver metal, and I just really love the look of the clover, or the blossom. It's like a clover slash blossom. Um, button and has a little diamond little crystal in the middle it just looks so clean and chic so look at the outside and I don't think it's too bad there's some like puckering at the stitching I guess you can see here like I don't know if you can see it at all <laughs> just a little puckering but I don't see anything terrible about the outside um, and then it's all nicely covered by cardboard and um, stuff like that. Let's look at this up. So there are levels of oops, and this is like the cheapest oops one. So I think it was like $15 off. The rings seem okay. There's no gapping. Um, I'm not sure why. This is like, oh, there's a slight bit of color, like two dots of color there. <laughs> that's like nothing. Um, so what I mean, like, why I haven't bought many blossoms is because 
it does have this really cool feature of you can um, make the strap wider or tighter here but I find that even with a page lifter things get stuck on this little edge here like just bangs up so you, you do have to take a bit more you can't just close it like with the cl with the cloud if you have a page lifter you do have to lift there's a siren you do have to lift everything up as you close it just because it will even the page lifter will get stuck on this um, um, thing so that's the only thing about it which is um, why I'm like not being 100% on board with them but I just really loved this design in white so we'll see how it goes I guess the clover cutouts are a little um, they're not as clean but there's sort of a half clover missing and it also has this um, school print like Oracle slash school print school limited edition which is not um, that is only supposed to be on the bl pink blossoms. I think that was one of the oops. And um, but overall, I don't feel like it's too bad. I think it looks pretty good. So nothing that really like draws my attention to be like, whoa. So I think you can get five dollars off, ten dollars off, perhaps fifteen dollars off. I think this was like a top fifteen dollar off. Oops. Um, and yet. I don't see anything wrong with it, so I get a good deal out of it. She gets rid of some stock she doesn't think is appropriate for full price, so win, win all around. But that is the, and I do love the emboss, that's really pretty. But that is the Snow Angel A5 Wide Cloud, uh, Blossom, not Cloud. Um, I'll show you a difference if you haven't seen a difference before the cloud has the flap um, and has different pocket configuration inside um, whereas this just has the clasp and then it has like straight up pockets like that um, so yeah if you don't want if you want it to be like less bulky because the flap obviously continues on from here but I think there's a there's also the downside of it is things get bumped up on this so that's just my sort of honest opinion about the blossom and why I haven't really gotten any blossoms except for the school Prince Co one before but that said this is gorgeous it's a bright white like look at it compared to my table and then here's like some white base papers pretty close so this is what I'm gonna be putting in here so you will have to like stay tuned to my channel for a setup um, video but I'm super happy with it the oops I think is worth getting the oops because there's there's nothing really wrong with this planner I don't think um, I'm pretty happy with it and the clover blossom button is just ugh, I think it's beautiful so that is everything I got in this haul if you liked it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more there will be like a blossom setup and all sorts. I think I'm doing, I just filmed a reorganizing my food stickers because of all the food stickers I got in this haul. So plenty of videos coming. I might actually have to release more than three a week because I'm gonna get backed up on some <laughs> videos here. But otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you next time. Bye.